It's one of the most triumphant comeback stories in sporting history. The first American ever to pull on a winner's yellow jersey. To win the Tour de France was my dream, but nobody had any clue what I was going through. The truth is, he almost didn't even make it to the race. The phone rang and they said my husband had been shot. A hunting accident had left Greg fighting for his life. They have 45 pellets throughout my body, one pressing right on the main artery. The cardiologist said, I don't know how you survived this. A hundredth of a millimeter more, you'd be dead. His Tour de France race team fired him. He was depressed and it was awful. But he was determined to do what seemed impossible. It's going to be the most exciting end in the history of the Tour de France. This is going to be incredible. Oh, joining us now from Knoxville, Tennessee, please welcome Greg LeMond. <laughs> Hello. We need to know, we need to know the end, Greg, spoiler alert, but you have to tell us what happened in that race. Was it the most exciting end in the history of the Tour de France? Well, it was my most exciting victory in the Tour de France. I don't know if it was most exciting. Um, I think anything's exciting when you don't know who's the winner, and, and it did come down to eight seconds. So um, for me, it was the most exciting part was actually just, you know, thinking four weeks before I was going to quit the sport, but to, to be able to win the Tour de France, something I had already won um, after coming back was, was still the highlight of my life. Um, it's, it's a great moment. For me, and that that finish was so close, as you say, eight seconds. What what was the difference between you two? I think we were very closely matched physically. The race is never over till it's over, till the finish line. And the day before, Finian congratulated me on my second place, and I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> you've just lost. I knew he was going to lose. Just had him win by one second, so I got eight eight, eight seconds on him. <laughs> Amazing. Like I won. I'd rather have eight minutes, but eight yeah. seconds, I'll still take one second. <laughs> now, you came so close to death after that hunting incident. What exactly happened that day? Well, I, I said I grew up in a family that we, they, didn't, they weren't hunters. We were we did target shooting, trap shooting. Um, my uncle was over for Easter, and my brother-in-law, his first time hunting, um, he didn't have his glasses. And when you're hunting turkey, you're camouflaged, and we were split up. And I just stood up in front of a bush and he just shot at the first thing that um, he saw moving. And it happened to be me. Um, just wondering, at that time, you didn't happen to resemble a turkey in any way, did you? <laughs> no, I did not resemble a turkey. Um, I said, when, you're, when you turkey hunt, you're camouflaged, you're supposed to blend in. And a lot of novices who hunt will shoot at the first thing they see moving. And um, that's what he did. So um, he, it was an accident. Watching the documentary, I actually came away thinking that you were a great cyclist second, and first, you were a really lovely husband. Well, we've been married 43 years, and, you know, thought, a lot of people that were crazy getting married so young, but I met her and I knew that we were in love, and I couldn't live without her, so we had to push up the wedding <laughs> quite a few years. Her dad and mom weren't happy. Uh, they became big fans, but... Um, but I look back now, and um, she was a, just a major part of uh, of my success. But we are partners today, and we're you know we're uh, we love each other, and, and it's I I got the best support ever. I mean, my wife is um, you, you know she's smart, but she's strong, she's caring, um, and I I needed that, and cyclists need that. Yeah, you were the first American to win a tour. You won three, and then a Mr. Lance Armstrong comes along, and wins seven. How happy were you when he had them all taken away? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was happy when his first first tour, and then I learned in 2000 what he was doing, and then I was happy. Happy is a weird deal to say because it'd been nice if his story was real, um, and and that would have been the best story. But he put my life through hell for quite a few years, and. I do believe in accountability, and it wasn't just his doping. His it, it's how he treated people, how he threatened people, um, and he would. If there's anybody who deserves to get his Tour de France is removed, it's him, and he should got it basically removed just from his actions. Agreed, agreed, Greg Lamont. Thank you so much for your time. Come back to New Zealand. We're big fans. Oh, we. I want to come back. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, oh, good. Very impressive character. Who knew turkey hunting was a thing, by the way? <laughs> Very... Also, if you're in the Tour de France as a rider and you've trained for years and then this guy goes, well, four weeks before, wasn't going to do it, pulled up, won it, 
no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Purple. Must got shot, won it. Yeah, the, the turkey hunting, though, I thought turkeys were more a farm sort of animal. I didn't realise it was all camouflage. And, yeah. And I don't want to be that guy, but if you need glasses, definitely take them when you're going hunting. <laughs> <laughs> um, Advice for life. <laughs> the film is amazing. It's called The Last Rider, and it hits New Zealand cinemas this Thursday. <laughs>